Hello, Lorena. So, how's the sound? As I have no idea if it really works. Hello, Paulina. Okay. Webby, hello. Libby Jade, hi. So, how are you guys doing? Aloha. Sound is good, this is most important. Because I had to move from my basement studio to my office room because the internet was just too slow down there in the basement. So it's a little bit, well, not soundproof. And I got my black background from the basement. Hey Kari, hey everyone. And um, well, took a while to set everything up. But well, seems to work. Yeehaw. So as this is a live Q&A session, you go ahead and shoot your questions whenever you want. I have the chat right in front of me so I should be able to answer your questions pretty quickly I am from the southern part of Germany Lorena asks what part of Germany I'm from um, from the southern part of Germany. The city is called Augsburg. It's a pretty old city. And the, I don't know if you have heard that the German Fugger dynasty, they came from Augsburg. They used to be back, I think in 14, 1500, round about the richest family in the world. So a very beautiful, very old city. Hello, random person. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hot in here. We have 30 degrees Celsius here in Augsburg, which is like 86 Fahrenheit. It's just insanely hot. John McBoring is asking, what are your hobbies aside from ASMR? Well, Recently, ASMR is really taking a lot of my time, as you can imagine. So, I used to play computer games quite a lot, like um, massively multiplayer online games, like Lord of the Rings, for example, or EverQuest, or I don't know, uh, Final Fantasy and stuff. But right now I just play a little bit on my iPad and do a lot of videos. Libby Jade is asking what ASMR tingle do you personally like the best? I personally really, really enjoy camera touching. Um, if you know Victoria Sponge, she is doing a really, really nice camera touching ASMR. And uh, I really enjoy watching her videos. That's totally nice. So I like those plastic sounds, touching, plastic, scratching, plastic stuff. Connor P. 
think is asking if you were not doing YouTube, what do you think you would be doing as far as line of work goes? Yeah. <laughs> um, Connor, I do have a different job because this YouTube channel right now pays me roughly 70 US dollars a month. So, well, it takes a little more money <laughs> to live. Um, so, right now, YouTube is just a hobby. Um, I used to work in public relations, in communications. I was a social media manager. Um, and about one and a half years ago, I quit my job. Um, and right now, I'm living off my savings, so to say. Um, because I started writing my own fantasy novel and uh, right now this novel is uh, with my publisher um, we are in the final editing process and I hope in about one or one and a half month uh, my first novel will appear and let's see if this novel and YouTube um, will by the end of the year hopefully pay for my bills if not i might have to find um, a job again and maybe reduce youtube which i really don't hope rhino hey how are you mate what is your favorite part about doing youtube videos um my favorite part about youtube videos is actually you guys um, interacting with um, all the subscribers with all the comments on the YouTube videos um, chatting with you guys on the stream when I'm streaming pre-recorded videos or like now um, streaming live the interaction with you guys this is really the most rewarding stuff um, as I used to be a social media manager um, I really know that there can be some trolls uh, trying to take away the fun um, from doing social media but uh, I'm faster um, in banning those guys than they probably are in writing their uh, not so nice comments uh, so my ban list right now is pretty long um, but I like to really keep the tone um, of the conversation on the chat and in the comments nice and clean and friendly so uh, this is what I really enjoy about YouTube and well um, it's really nice to hear that someone could sleep better um, after watching my videos um, and is relaxed when watching my videos this is really really rewarding that's really cool Oh, Lorena is from Berlin. That's pretty cool. Hey, hello, Berlin. And Rhino says it's 104 degrees Fahrenheit um, where he is in the States. Ooh, that's uh, yeah, even hotter than here. Isaiah Alvarez is asking, do I think SoundCloud is shutting down? I have absolutely no clue Isaiah if SoundCloud is shutting down or not um, I do not have a SoundCloud account um, I have some of my uh, mp3s of uh, of ASMR sounds on iTunes and on Google Play Store and on Amazon um, but SoundCloud is something I I never did Who is my favorite YouTuber? Rhino is asking. Um, well, there are quite a few. Um, Caroline ASMR is just incredibly nice. I, I really love her content. Um, the one YouTuber that really um, made me start my own YouTube channel um, because I liked her content so much is ASMR Magic. Um, she is just pure magic and does really, really great stuff. So I really, really love ASR Magic's channel and I'm constantly watching it. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, 
la 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 what's her name um god i said it before and now i forgot let me just look it up in my in my channel list victoria sponge i'm i'm <laughs> i'm crazy so victoria sponge uh, because of her uh, wonderful camera touching um camera touching videos um i like the the stuff that asmr zeitgeist is doing um he's one of the pretty cool male asmr artists um well i'm i'm to be honest not such a big fan of what dimitri is doing um because well i don't know i never i never really got the hang of his videos um i think his sound is too sensitive so if you can't really hear the asm artist breathing um in and out and in and out whatever he's doing um, this totally distracts me so i cannot really watch his videos um we have greetings from germany from revengers rage who we have a hi from thailand from thai santa oh santa did you bring some some presents for all of us <laughs> lorena is asking if i like swimming oh yes hell i like swimming i love swimming i am um, maybe you have seen my scuba diving video i am actually also scuba diving so yes i love the water i'm a well i'm not a summer animal um i like spring and and autumn the most but when summer i really love the water libby jade is asking what is my favorite animal my favorite animals are dogs um, because i have a dog of my own right now a little german um Dackel, a dachshund. Um, he's really cute, uh, very smart and intelligent, and he's running the family, so to say. <laughs> but he's a really, really good guy, a nice chap, and um, he forces me to spend time outside to go walking, to go out to the fresh air. Otherwise, I would probably just sit. Um, here in a dark room and record more ASMR videos. Isaiah is asking, which type of music do I like? Oh, well, let's say I do not like um, current rock music. I love old rock music like 70s 80s rock music um, otherwise I'm a pretty diversified uh, music person so um, I love stuff from Michael Jackson from Madonna um, I do like alternative music like um, blame it on Coco for example um, there's there's really really a wide range of of stuff that I that I listen to also German music um, there are some some really great German uh, musicians right now uh, doing really cool stuff um, this maybe answers also uh, the question from Revengers Rage I'm German um, I'm living in Augsburg uh, in Germany. Um, John McBoring is asking, what's the best thing about Germany should I visit? Ooh. Well, if you ask someone who's living in a place, um, you probably never get the answer that you, that you should visit that country because to us it just seems so everyday. But Germany is pretty nice. Um, especially if you are from um, let's say America or Canada for example um, where you are 
history started 1700 something um, if you come to Germany um, there are houses uh, that are older um, than your whole uh, than your whole country for example uh, so the history in Germany is pretty amazing um, not the history uh, around the two world wars that just and this is pretty depressing um, but back 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 in the in the old times old ages uh, we have a very rich history and that's that's pretty nice and you can see it in all architecture and stuff um, from what was left after the war so uh, yes Germany is pretty nice to visit it's not a super nice hot weather um, country you do have hot summers if you're lucky um, if you're unlucky the summer is really shitty uh, so well you have not so cold winter so you might not have enough snow and for a good snow you go to Switzerland anyway and to Austria so uh, our our seaside the North Sea is just too cold um, the East Sea well a little bit warmer but also not not that nice so it's also not a beach country really um, so it's all about the history uh, if you want to visit Germany if you go to Berlin it's all about being uh, well right now right here hipster there's there's a lot of cool international people in Berlin um, you find find a lot of young people you find a good clubbing scene so if you're young berlin is pretty cool to be um, and you won't sleep very much i guess what is my favorite food webby wolf kim is asking um well i have lived for five years in south korea so i really love korean food and i am still cooking it also back here in germany because i found a great great store where I get original Korean ingredients and um, I really love Korean food if it's well done there's not many good Korean restaurants in Germany unfortunately um, so I do it myself I should show you the dog um, Rhino is saying yes Rhino um, I don't have it here right now because it would probably uh, make a lot of funny noises um, and rummage around uh, the room here so that's not a good idea but in my um, Scrabble ramble video somewhere in the middle um, I showed a photo of my little dog so you can go and check out my Scrabble video and you will see the little dog but I'll post also a photo on Instagram so um, if you follow me on Instagram you should see it as well Connor Pink is from Canada hello Connor Libby Jade has oh my god five dogs and two horses Wow this is so cool that's really nice I would love to have more dogs but I just don't have the time for them so um, also I live really in the center of Augsburg um, which is well it's not a big city it's like 225,000 inhabitants I think but well it's a city and so far for a big dog it would be totally inappropriate just not not so cool um, and for more than one dog uh, my flat is just not big enough so no chance to have to have more than one Emilia Kairi is asking have you been to Singapore or anywhere in Asia well as I said yes I lived in South Korea and I have been to Singapore um, for several occasions actually um, I have spent a week on vacation in Singapore and uh, I think it's called Sentosa Beach right um, but yeah sure also in the rest of Singapore um, and I have uh, worked uh, in South Korea and my regional head office was in Singapore so I had to travel there from time to time and uh, it's a lovely lovely city and country 
um, I love the diversity of Singapore so many different people um, you get the best food from all Asia in Singapore because you can choose from basically everything that you get anywhere in Asia which is totally great so being in Singapore is always fun um, and I'm always eating and there's Becca hello Becca nice to see you so any more questions guys Ari welcome Wow, Isaiah Alvarez is asking, what is your first game system growing up? You won't believe it. I was born in 1970. So my first game system <laughs> was um, the original Pong game. Um, it was a, a chunk of plastic um, with two controllers integrated that were just two rotating knobs um, that you um that you connected to your to your tv and uh you could just play it with two people um or yeah yeah right there was also a a one person um hit the hit the ball against the wall game um but the the really original pong game that was my first gaming system then i had a commodore uh, 64 c64 um, which was totally great and i really wasted this this computer um one day it just uh some smoke came out of it and, and it died a very quick death um, and after that um, i basically I'm, I'm i'm a gamer so i had a game boy I had a Super Nintendo, um, I had a PlayStation, I, I have various Windows computers, I've got, um, I've got different Macs, so I'm, I'm, I'm just a computer geek, um, and I'm gaming basically on everything that I get my hands on. Hello Carolina! So we have a random person asking, have you been to America? Well, to a part of America that you cannot really call America, to Hawaii. Um, when I was in Asia, I um, was closer to Hawaii than I've ever been um, being here in Germany. So um, I've been to Hawaii um, and it was just uh, two weeks after 9-11 happened um, so basically no tourists um, the Americans were all extremely depressed um, I was still in total shock um, so I had two weeks of total peace and and uh, being alone um, in Hawaii um, I had once uh, touched down in um, in Florida, in, in Miami, uh, on a stopover uh, when I was flying to Cuba, but that's uh, about a hundred years ago. <laughs> Mire Johnny is asking if my cough is okay now. Well, not, not really. Um, it's still a little bit strained. Um, I cannot walk stairs uh, in the moment, um, so I'm still uh, using painkillers and, and some um, stuff that I can rub on, uh, but it's getting better. Uh, Rhino is asking if I have an Xbox One. The only gaming system that I never owned is Xbox. Um, might be the uh, producer of that system. I really hate Windows. Uh, unicorn lover, hey, um, do I get affected by my own ASMR when I watch it? Um, 
interestingly, in the beginning when I watched it, I did not. Um, now, um, I do. Uh, I don't know, I have become a little bit more sensitive to ASMR, I think. Um, and if I'm not talking, um, my own ASMR is really giving me the tingles. Um, sometimes when I'm when I'm recording um, some I don't know some some triggers um, like I don't know if you have watched the video with the green claw and this plastic foil that I had on the table that I was scratching I got so many tingles that I almost couldn't finish the video because, <laughs> because I was sitting on my chair like oh oh my god so yes, I get the tingles even when I when I produce ASMR videos. So guys, do you have any more questions? How did I hurt my calf? Oh, Becca, because um, I'm old <laughs> and stupid. I was uh, running in the forest uh, with my dog uh, and uh, took a I don't know strange step and. I, I first thought that I tore um, a ligament, which luckily I didn't. Um, so it was just a, a really strong, intense muscle cramp. Um, but uh, yeah, well, if you get to my age, uh, <laughs> moving around hurts your body. <laughs> says so did I Lars I it tingled me so hard yeah the claw video was just totally crazy this really gave me gave me double and triple tingles and sometimes really if I if I do not get the tingles um still it, it really relaxes me and I always have those headphones usually in my ears except now because I would have a strong time delay um and not really hearing what I what I say right now, but when I have the earphones in, I do hear right then um, what I'm recording, and this relaxes me so much that sometimes, really after half an hour, I'm almost falling asleep um, when recording the videos. Isaiah is asking, do I watch the new season of Rick and Morty? Isaiah. I do not even know what Rick and Morty is, I must say. Um, I am a big TV person. Um, I probably binge watched 90% of everything that's on Netflix. <laughs> uh, but I have no idea what Rick and Morty is. It comes at the end of this month, Rhino says, mm, yeah. I have no clue, Rhino. <laughs> Becca is still making jokes about my age. Yeah, Becca, wait until you grow, grow up and become an adult. <laughs> some of your favorites to watch on Netflix well not only Netflix um, I'm a 
I'm a geek, so I'm a really big fan of the Big Bang Theory. Um, I just can't get enough of them. Um, on Netflix, especially, uh, I love Modern Family uh, because <laughs> it's just so stereotypical American <laughs> and it makes fun of the American way and that <laughs> I really enjoy that show. Um, I think one of the best TV shows ever done was Sense8. Um, if you haven't seen that on Netflix, um, search it Sense, like does it make sense, and 8, like the number 8, Sense8, it's just insanely good it's it's really great and they just came out with the second season um i heard rumors that um there will be no third season which would be a shame um i really hope that they continue that it's it's really one of the best tv shows that that they have ever done um unicorn lover asks um what trigger was the video called with the green claws oh i have to look that up give me a moment uh, da -da -da -da. there it is it's called asmr rippled plastic the return of the claw i'll give you the link right into the chat wait wait a second da, 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 da. come on copy chat paste there's the link uh, da, da. la cana cana Absolutely love your voice. Thank you very much. Uh, Arturo Garcia is asking, do you play any instruments? Um, when I was a kid, I <laughs> was forced to learn the flute, which I really, really, really hated. <laughs> um, this made me really stop learning any instruments. And just... Uh, a couple of years ago, I think three, four years ago, I started learning the piano. Um, but as I am um, not very diligent when it comes to learning instruments, um, well, I stopped after about a year. So um, I, I know the basics, but I don't really play well and uh, it really hurts the ears of everyone passing by so <laughs> no instruments really I play the computer keyboard <laughs> was on on Amazon I think um, but I loved Vikings um, I absolutely love um, Game of Thrones um, <laughs> that really freaks me out every season that everyone um, I got used to is being killed more or less <laughs> but I, I really love it it's it's a great great show which type of movies do I like? Isaiah is asking. Well, movies is very much like music. I'm not um, hooked to one special genre, so to say. Um, I do like dramas. I do love love stories. So, um, Hugh Grant uh, is just, I, I think I, I watched every Hugh Grant movie, uh, and guys can cry, so I also cry when I, 
when I watch Hugh Grant movies. Uh, I do like action stuff. I do like um, martial arts movies. Um, I do like shooting and explosions and everything. I'm, I'm a TV person. I love everything um, that's on screen. Um, it just has to be made very well. Um, I don't like cheap stuff. Um, I do like good productions and, and then it's then it's pretty cool. What about Stranger Things? I'm really bad with names, so if I see it, I probably know it, but um, judging by the title and especially here in Germany, um, they do not use the original movie titles, but take very bad German translations. So the movie title of Stranger Things might have been something like uh, Frank meets Molly, yada yada, I don't know. Um, so I have no clue what movie you're, you're talking about. my favorite superhero <sighs> that's a very difficult question um, it's probably a Marvel hero it's not DC Comics um, I do like Deadpool. Um, I do like the Green Lantern. Uh, is Green Lantern Marvel? I think so. Or is it DC? Not sure. It's a long time ago when I was a kid. I really loved the Green Lantern comics. They were totally great. And I always wished that I would find a ring and a lantern and I could be like, like him. That would is so cool. So Green Lantern is is pretty cool. What year do I think Coldplay is going to retire? Isaiah, I have, to, <laughs> I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Hey, yo, Timmy. superheroes again um, I like the X-Men um, not one in particular but the, the mix and I also like the Fantastic Four um, I like teams that's pretty good uh, I do not like Batman and Robin Robin just sucks um, <laughs> so well Right now, I think it's Deadpool. Deadpool is just, just insanely hilarious. So Deadpool is pretty cool, and I like the Deadpool computer game. <laughs> just that just was so great. It was really, really good. So, any more questions, guys?
questions. Oh my god. So should I finish the stream already? Are you serious? Guys, give me questions. What is my middle name? Becca is asking. Becca, you won't believe it, but in Germany middle names are somewhat out of fashion, so I do not have a middle name. La Cana Cana is asking what is my favorite dog breed? Well, I do like golden retrievers. I like Labradors. I like um, Dachshunds, the German Dackel. It just has to be a real dog. I do not like those little girly handbag dogs. Um, they just drive me totally crazy because they usually are totally overbred, um, constantly sick, can't really breathe. Um, and I feel really sorry for those dogs. And hello to Russia. So, I like dogs that are more, let's say, traditional dogs. Um, hunting dogs that are really, really... Um, that use their nose and that are real dogs. Um, and not toys. Um, that that depends. Um, I do like the older animations, um, so I'm not a big fan of the um, of the new anime style um, animations. Um, I'm a big fan of the classic anime style um, back when I was a kid, so early eighties. Um, there was a TV series called Captain Future. I'm not sure if that was also the name in, in other countries. Um, it was one really, one of the first anime, um, Japanese anime series um, that you could, could find in, in, in Germany. And I really loved that. Um, it's not classic anime like, like you would know it today. But um, Captain Future was just absolutely great. Well, I do watch The Simpsons. I like them. <coughs> I hate South Park. Um, I don't know. I'm just not the South Park generation. I think the humor of South Park is just too dumb. Um, so, <laughs> not my style. Kana Kana is asking what color is my toothbrush? My toothbrush is black. It's a Philips ultrasonic uh, and it's pitch black. Becca is asking if she is my favorite person. Becca, you are absolutely my favorite person in the chat when you're the only one there. <laughs> And my 
friend from Russia. That name that I can't read is asking mouth sounds, please. Um, and I'm totally sorry, but as I want to keep this um, stream accessible for everyone, and not everyone really likes mouth sounds, I will not do mouth sounds in this um, Q&A stream. <clears throat> as in a Q&A stream, I tend to talk a little bit more, so mouth sounds mouth sounds would be quite hindering. Milky Caramel is asking, do you have an accent? I can't really tell. Well, Milky, if I have an accent, um, it might be slightly German. Um, but because um, when I lived in South Korea, I had quite a lot of American colleagues, uh, a lot of British colleagues. Um, quite a few Aussies, um, so I think my my English has a few parts from every English uh, speaking nation there is, um, and no special accent I think. Um, but you Americans or British will be able to tell. I definitely have don't have a British accent. Isaiah, which car brand do I like? Uh, different. I really like the new Audis that they built right now. Um, they look pretty cool. Um, I do like sports cars. Uh, so, Ferrari, Lamborghini. Uh, those are pretty cool cars, but, well, I can't afford them. <laughs> uh, I actually do like some of the Korean brands. Um, Daewoo and Hyundai are pretty cool cars, and you get really cool, um, cool cars uh, in Korea directly. Um, they have better cars there than they sell overseas, which is pretty mean. <laughs> But really nice. Um, Isaiah is asking if I have traveled to California. No, not yet. Um, that's a big plan. Um, I really do want to go to California one day, but I have said as long as uh, the orange guy is president of the United States, I will not visit the US. Um, just a personal thing between me and Trump. <laughs> I like the new Gorillaz album. I haven't listened to it, um, so I have no clue. Do I have any holiday plans this summer? Um, I have had some summer vacation already, which you'd notice because I pre-produced um, quite a few videos uh, and I used my iPad and laptop to connect to you guys, so you didn't really notice that I have been on vacation. Um, so no further summer plans uh, so far. Um, maybe in fall, uh, early fall, uh, to southern Spain. Depends on how my bank account looks. What's my favorite color? I really don't have a favorite color if it's um, clothing. I do like white shirts and I do like black shirts. Um, I don't like it too colorful. Uh, so no, no favorite color really. Kitty Lake says some words that I pronounce sound like I have a British accent. Yay! <laughs> So a little British, a little American, a little Aussie maybe, um, and now and then some German sauerkraut in between. <laughs> Any more questions, guys?
the thing behind me? The question was, is my wall black or is it something else? Um, this is basically a, um, a screen that I can pop up um, and place everywhere I like. Usually it's down in my basement studio. Um, now I brought it up and could put it behind my my chair. So I still have the nice black and dark atmosphere. Becca is saying I'd rock hot pink. I'd rock everything, Becca. Actually look pretty good in red shirts. Um, people are saying so. Yeah, some color is nice now and then. Random person says I should do a non-ASMR video reacting to XXX Tentation. Um, one. I don't do non-ASMR videos. I try all my videos on this channel to be ASMR. Um, and to have no clue what this channel is or what this thing is. Um, maybe something on what I'm going to do in future. Now that I hit 5,000 subscribers, um, I have the possibility to um, look around for some um, sponsoring stuff so I might do some headphone reviews for example or reviewing some other products that fit into the ASMR setting um, so this will give me a few hundred bucks um, of extra money that allows me to live um, and that will still fit into the overall ASMR setting, but I will never do non-ASMR videos. A6er is asking if this is live. Yes, this is live. A6er, hello, how are you? Uh, Milky Caramel is asking, what's your favorite ASMR? Well, I mentioned that before. It's Caroline ASMR, it's ASMR Magic, um, she's the superstar, um, and it's Victoria Sponge. Uh, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little channel that I have done a collaboration with, um, that's Minimalist ASMR. He's also doing um, dark background ASMR, very minimalistic, um, true to his name. Um, give him some love and some likes. He's really, really good and he deserves definitely more viewers and more subscribers. When did I start YouTube? Um, well, I first started this channel sometime in September last year, um, but because I had um, issues with audio quality, because here, um, in this room where I am right now, uh, I could hear uh, at at night or in the evenings um, noises from um, the room above because they had the TV there. Um, so I, I really didn't find any time when I could record without having distracting noises. Um, then I cleared out the basement. Um, and put up my studio there. So roughly in mid-February or early March, I really started with this channel. Do I have any other channel? No, I don't have any other channel. Um, I'm not sure if I would have the time to run two channels at the same time, so um, for now there are no plans for any other channels. Could I say out loud some German <coughs> tongue twister?
Twisters. Like Fischers Fritze fischt frische Fische, frische Fische fischt Fischers Fritze. <laughs> Those tongue twisters are, are really silly. Do I speak any other languages? <clears throat> well, I speak German as my mother tongue. I speak English. I speak a tiny little bit of Spanish. And um, I already forgot more Korean than I ever learned. So uh, we have a Korean here right now. The name is Song Hyun. Mm. I cannot read that it's too small. Song Hyun Yu. Young Asil. So that's Korean. Um, and <laughs> are you younger than your twin? Milky Caramel, I do not have a twin. My twin videos, that's me um, in the morning. Then I go to the hairdresser, um, then I change my dress, I shave, I put on a different pair of glasses, uh, I usually wear a different watch, and uh, I am my own twin, so to say. So it's quite a lot of work and some video editing, and that makes me um, my, my own twin. Bye bye, random person. Thanks for visiting. What age did I start getting gray hair? Um, I started getting gray hair when I was 18. Um, so the first gray hair on the sides when I was like 25-ish, my whole sides were all gray and my the top of my hair was like salt and pepper. And when I was mid-30, I was like that basically. And it's gonna be like that for the rest of my life. <laughs> what is my real job? Um, right now I am a an author. I'm writing fantasy novels and I try to make a living from writing fantasy novels and doing YouTube. Um, I'm living off my savings right now and if that doesn't work um, I'm going back to my real job which was a communications person social media manager the gaming bear loves me thank you very much stupex team hello and you're leaving to spain tomorrow have fun my friend you're really going to love it isaiah is asking me to name five nfl teams <laughs> My super, super favorite NFL team is the Minnesota Vikings. Um, never won a Super Bowl. Really bad. But I love those guys. I really love the Vikings. Um, I loved their last season. Uh, they did very well for all the uh, missing personnel they had. So I really love the Vikings. Um, I really hate the Patriots because every every Joe and his dog loves them. Um, if you ask anyone in Germany for an NFL team, it's the Patriots, the Patriots, the Patriots. It just, bah, I hate the Patriots. Um, I like the Carolina Panthers, but um, their last season really wasn't that cool. Um, well... I like them. Um, one team that I'm going to have an eye on uh, are the Raiders. Um, they are quickly developing into being one of my favorite teams. So let's see how their season goes this year. Um, I closely watched the um, the 49ers um, and the and the LA Rams uh, last year especially the the Rams as they uh, moved back to their um, well hometown so to say uh, and uh, well I'm a I hate
hate sports usually. Um, I do not like German soccer and stuff, but I'm a I'm a real football fan. Um, so I also have uh, this NFL Game Pass thing, um, and I and I really love watching football. So I'm really looking forward for the season to start. Sarina is asking why did I decide to have my channel in English rather than German? Um, well, because half of the world understands English um, and maybe only 5% of the world understand German and YouTube is an international platform um, and I didn't want to limit my channel from the beginning um, just by by only speaking German so um, I decided on English and um, I've always um, used English in my job uh, so English comes pretty natural to me so it was not a not a big decision what's my favorite series well we we had that before um, I think on Netflix sense 8 is probably the the best series that that I've ever seen I really love it um, I do like modern family and, and I love TV TV series, TV shows, uh, anyway, in all, in all ways and, and forms. Um, the Big Bang Theory is probably my all-time favorite nerdy, geeky show. Do I watch any series these days? Oh, I've just binge-watched um, the Mad Men, uh, so a series about an advertising agency back in the 1960s, which was totally crazy because it it reminded me of how um, strange people used to be um, in the early 70s and 80s where we still had a very strange view of the world uh, so yeah that's that's a pretty good show hey the Raiders are cool as well Becca is hungry, like always. Uh, Milky Caramel is asking why do some people have blue names in the chat? Because they are uh, moderators in this chat. They can um, delete chat comments and ban people if necessary. Because um, sometimes I'm just running this chat as a, or this, this stream with pre-recorded videos and it's running for two three days in a row and I'm not online all the time so Becca and Rhino and Stupex are moderating the chat so that people stay nice and don't get too silly um, sometimes you just have to um, kick people from the chat Karai is asking if my novel um, is written in English? No, I've written that in German as writing and expressing yourself in written form um, is best done in your mother tongue. <laughs> Becca is asking if I'm calling her fat. I would never do that, Becca. So, are there 
any more questions, guys? joining. 